what I was surprised is to find out how much knowledge and how much storytelling is part of this community. You know, we kind of just brought it out of them. So it's like, we're not innovative, we're not doing anything new really. The whole point is like Kimberly said, is just to like sit down with these people and find out who they are and the, what's their story, you know? Um, well, the project is, is called the East Side San Antonio, um, the future and back. And it's a community-based um, storytelling project. It's a multimedia art installation that includes a little bit of everything from audio, video, and, um, and photography. Um, the idea came from creating a project with not any particular community in mind other than um, a community that we, we thought deserved to um, have their story a little more um, brought out from underneath and since we work here in the east side as Southwest Workers Union we thought well you know we could just start here I mean we're already here and we're, we're not really too in tune with um, with a lot of the community are here so we thought what better way to like build bridges and and get to know the people that are around us every day. Actually we got together and we brainstormed and we just like threw a bunch of ideas together really and then whatever we thought of we went out and did it you know there was no hesitation about what we did we just went out and we talked to the people. What was the hardest part about, about it? Um, deciding who's gonna do the interviews. <laughs> I would be like, Frankie, are you gonna do the interview? And he's like, No, I'll hold the camera. So I'm like, Kimberly, are you gonna do the interview? And they're like, Deja. I'm like, Okay. So I, I ask the question sometimes, and we'll like trade off other times. How did you know what questions to ask? I really didn't. You just really let them talk. Mm -hmm. You want you want them to tell their story, not really ask them questions. So you just kind of like build off of what they were saying. I think pretty every story was pretty unique. Yeah, and I, and I think it depends on the listener and the person that really uh, gets connected with either the story or learning about the history. Um, but I think it was a good opportunity for us to really learn and build our experience and get acquainted with the community because we all come from different places. And it was just about being able to meet the people and figure out how we can share their history and their stories with the people. Like, the thing that surprised me the most was just um, to hear stories about segregation in San Antonio and because you know living here we never really think of our own cities as being you know cities that were a part of that and just to hear um, people's experiences and the, you know just the stories that were passed on to them from their families of their experiences growing up in segregated San Antonio that was just really surprising to me and I was just, I felt that we were, I felt really happy to get those stories because I feel like they're very important and I feel like, you know, you know, in classrooms we should study more regional history as well as, you know, the broad history of our country. So I was really happy to get and surprised to get those stories. It was also for me um, to see a lot of the historical buildings that no longer exist and have become abandoned or have been empty lots. I think for me that's something that really you know, resonated with me because I could see people still congregating in those areas, like the Ritz Theater is still a place where people play ball or people you know, hang out and play dominoes. So it was really, really, uh, all the people that we've come across have just been very inspirational. Why do you think uh, history is so important to communities like the Inside? I think because it's one of, it's very deep and rich um, and I don't know if there has been an outlet for such a history to be told or given a platform for the people to actually speak mm -hmm. so I think it was a matter of time. Mm -hmm. I think the community has felt very uh, neglected and if you speak to a lot of the elders most of them um, haven't really gone out of the community. A lot of people stay within it and have a rich history of just the block in the neighborhood. There's a lot of neighborhood associations and people are constantly you know congregating and talking about the, the, the troubles that are going on within, within their neighborhood. The exhibit will be up till December. Mm -hmm. December 1st it comes down um, and we do have a Tumblr uh, blog. What? Eastside East Side Project. Eastside East Project. Eastside Essay. essay. Eastside East essay. essay Project. Tumblr. Yeah. Eastside Essay Project. Tumblr. Com. It's a community-based project, so we don't own it. Um, it belongs to the people who we, you know, interviewed and took pictures. 
come visit. Yeah, support <laughs> local. I mean, obviously we're in the east side here, but you know, support your local businesses. You know, like take a venture out. You know, go to uh, public spaces, go to parks, and interact with people because. As a city, we're a whole. I know that we're huge. Yes, you know, we're split up into north, south, east, west side, you know, but it didn't used to be like that, you know, and I think that it just takes not, it's not going to take a website and it's not going to take a picture. It's going to take people like to physically go into these spaces and vice versa.